What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Buffalo Bills. That is not right. That, that is not right. Welcome back everybody to the channel because we are going again with the Cleveland Browns. That is the correct one. I don't know where the Buffalo Bills came from. But the Cleveland Browns retro rebuild here on Madden 21 on the PC. And today is the off season that's right we've got some big big stuff to take care of here in the off season of 2012 2020 what <laughs> i can't talk today in this intro 2012 i added an extra 20 in there for some reason but we got a big plate of things to take care of today in the 2012 off season so let's get straight into the video make sure to smash that like button the notification bell and the subscription button as well join the juice club I'm glad this intro's over because now we can get in the video and I can stop making a fool of myself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It is the off season. Let's check out the retirements really quickly before we get into the actual business to take care of, the bidness. So we've got three retirements. I, I said Steve Smith would probably either retire or he would be uh, let go this season or this off season. He does end up retiring. So Steve Smith retires. Clinton Portis retires. You guys remember uh, Clinton Portis had that amazing run uh, for a touchdown in the playoffs where he broke like three tackles and, and spun in for an end zone, or for a touchdown in the end zone. So that was pretty awesome. James Harrison does end up retiring after 11 seasons. That's kind of annoying because we, we offered him a two-year contract. I was hoping he'd kind of stay. But, hey, it is what it is. We get that money back. So... He is retired as well, so it's Clinton Portis, James Harrison, and Steve Smith. Jay Feely's gone. Rick Ricky Williams retires, but he was on our team for a year. Or maybe two years. I can't remember exactly. Uh, Reggie Wayne retires. Tony Gonzalez retires. Some big names retire in this offseason. John Henderson's gone. Uh, Boo Williams. Joey Porter. Terrence Newman. Andre Dyson. Uh, Dahani Jones, Matt Light was on our team for a few years. Fred Smoot, Ryan Clark, Chad Pennington, Takeo Spikes. Uh, this guy that I can never pronounce his name, so I'm just going to say Kabir. Uh, Orlando Brown, Mark Bolger, Warwick Holdman. Um, anybody else of note? No, it doesn't look like no coaches retire either. I think that's the second straight season or second straight offseason where no coaches have retired, but some pretty big names. Uh, have retired this offseason. And now we get to the fun part. we got to take care of some business here. We've got to decide what we want to do with Braylon Edwards and Jamarcus Russell. I've already decided that I'm going to trade Brodney Poole into Quell Jackson. I'm going to do that right now so that we can get as much value for them as possible. Plus, I think uh, Harrison Smith is ready to take over for Brodney. So I'm assuming everybody's going to want him. But it's just a matter of who wants him the most. I'm not going to trade him to the Chargers because that's a direct rival of ours. So let's not trade him to the Chargers. Let's trade him to a team probably in the NFC. I would prefer that. But I guess it depends on who's offering me the most uh, payout for him. So Tampa Bay. What's Tampa Bay offering me? Now what I could do is I could trade him for next year picks because I could probably get a little bit more value for him that way. I think I'll do that. I think I'll trade Brodney Poole for next year picks, and I'll trade Dequell Jackson for this year picks. So let's see if I can get a first and a second next year for Brodney Poole. Uh, they probably will do this if I give them some enticing things here. Let's see. What do we got to offer? I got Levi Brown that I'm probably not going to bring back as well. Doesn't really help that much. Uh, left outside linebacker. I've got Brandon Lindsay. You want? You don't want Brandon Lindsay? I understand why you wouldn't. Uh, we're not going to trade Dequell Jackson just yet. I've got some corners that you may want. Do you want Jason McCourty or Glover Quinn? No, you don't want either one of those guys. Do you want? Uh, do you want Eric Wright or not Stephon Gilmore? Brandon Browner. Ooh, they want both of these guys. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. You want Ron Parker? No, you don't want Ron Parker. I could probably just trade you a pick and then be fine with it. But do I want to do that? I've got a ton of picks. I could give up a third rounder. What does that do? 
That gets the trade accepted. I probably could have done with a fourth rounder. That probably would have got it done too. But we get two picks next year that will help us. And now we can go and trade to Quell Jackson. See what we want to get for him. I prefer him in the NFC as well. So would you trade me to Sean Jackson? Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, honestly. All right, Jeremy Macklin. Okay, so we'll trade DeQuell for picks this year. Will you give me a second and a third for DeQuell Jackson? They will not, but will you give me a third and a fourth for DeQuell Jackson? They will not, but will you give me a third and a fifth for DeQuell Jackson? Because this would give us our third back that we just traded to... Who do we just trade to? The whatever they're called with Brodney Poole. I just completely forgot who we just traded with. So DeQuell Jackson's going to Philadelphia. We get two picks this year for him. That frees up even more money for us. So now currently we sit with a ton of picks. We have a ton of picks. We have three first round picks. We have three second round picks, two third round picks, a fourth, a fifth, two six, and two sevenths. So we're going to be trading a lot of those picks because I've learned that in this series I'm, I'm not going to really wait for the projections to draft a guy if I really want them because I've used these draft classes so many times that I know I kind of know already what their values are going to be so if I reach for a guy it's fine I'm not going to draft like a guy who's projected in the in the fourth round in the first round because I could obviously get somebody else and then draft him later but you guys understand what I'm talking about right so we've got the seventh pick in the draft is there... I'm going to wait a little bit because there might be somebody in the draft that I could... Uh, that I really want that I could trade up for. But I don't think DeAndre Hopkins will go top six. I wouldn't think. But I'll, I'll probably trade up to make sure. Oh, I do want to try and trade Levi Brown and Roberto Garza for something. So I don't just lose those guys. So Levi Brown, does anybody want you? I would assume they would want you. You're a pretty decent right tackle. There are a few teams interested. Only one team was green. Oh, no, check that. Texans are green because they need a right tackle. Uh, they're pick 11. What about if I go to the Cardinals? The Cardinals are pick 21. Not worth it. The Chiefs are pick 6. We could jump up one spot. Everybody else was just a yellow until the Texans, so... Would you trade me Mario Williams? They will not trade me Mario Williams. That is that is for sure they will not do that. Uh, this team was really good in the in the mid 2000s and like early 2010s. This team was pretty good. Would you trade me Jarrell Casey for Levi Brown? No, they will not. What would you trade me? Sam Bradford at a 76 overall? Is he really growing that much? That's kind of crazy. Uh, who do you want to trade me? I'd like to get some value. I got enough draft picks. I, I'd like to get some sort of cool like player. Demario Davis, Akeem Ayers, Byron Maxwell, Janoris Jenkins. Um, who do you want to trade me? You want to trade me Akeem Ayers for Levi Brown? All right. We just got Akeem Ayers. Okay. I didn't think that was going to happen, but that's pretty cool. I like Akeem Ayers. He's a good player. And now he can be our uh, line. He can get into our linebacker core. I'm probably going to have to move one of these guys to middle linebacker. Maybe Sean Lee to middle linebacker. Unless I draft a, a linebacker, I'm not sure. Um, was there anybody else that I wanted to trade before we move on? I don't think so. I'm just going to let William Hayes walk, I think. I don't think I can get a lot for him. I guess we could trade Brandon Browner. It's probably getting close to his time to be done. Everybody's going to want him because he's an 80 overall corner. So... Maybe we just go through the teams and see what kind of players we could get back for him. What would you trade me for Brandon Browner? Would you trade me... Let's go through these teams. Why? Why does Brandon Albert have... Is that Lil Uzi? What? 
Why does Brandon, Brandon Albert have Lil Uzi's face? What is this? I, that's, <laughs> that's classic right there. That is good stuff. Moving on, let's see if I can get anything for these guys. Uh, what are we thinking here? Peyton Manning, maybe? I probably could get Peyton Manning since his overall is pretty low. Um, should we should we get Peyton Manning? Taylor Mays looks pretty decent, but we don't need to we don't need safeties. So, uh, you know what? Let's go back to the Eagles and and go back to Brandon or Deshaun Jackson's. No, still nothing. Worth a shot though. Uh, Brent Grimes is pretty decent, but he's 30. Um, what are we looking at here? Julio Jones is on the Jaguars. I didn't think so, but I just wanted to take a shot at it. Debrickashaw Ferguson. Darrell Revis, is this the time where we go and get Darrell? Oh, the Jets don't even want... They don't even want him, so... It's not the time that we go get Darrell. Is this the time we get Von Miller? Would this be even, like, legit possible to get Lamar Miller? Why did I do it like this? This is the worst way to scroll up. Uh, I'd give you Justin Houston. They don't want Justin Houston. I'd give you Levante David. You don't want Levante David either. Why don't you want Levante David? Who doesn't want Levante David? I'd give you Michael Bennett. You want Michael Bennett? No. You want Akeem Hicks? They do want Akeem Hicks. I'd have to... I don't... This isn't going to go through. It needed to be in the yellow, probably, for that to go through. They want William Hayes. And what about if I give you... A second-round pick? What about if I give you... No, I didn't mean to do that. Brandon Browner. William Hayes. And the 32nd overall pick in the draft. Trade declined. You know what? This might actually go through. Is that a good thing? Is that what you want to happen? Do we want Von Miller? Uh, true. Do we do this? Do we do this? Bop, 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 bop. Do we do this? Da, 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 da. No way this goes through, right? I didn't think so. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So it wouldn't go through with William Hayes, Brandon Browner, and the seventh overall pick. We'd probably have to it would probably it would go through if we got like it would go through if we got the like a top four pick probably. That's probably how it would go through. But it's not gonna go through just like that. So we move on. That's fine. I didn't need Von Miller, but it would have been nice to have. Uh, who's here that we could get? Did we get 36-year-old Tom Brady? What do we do here? 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 Cam's on the Raiders. That's cool. Um, James Laurinaitis on the Rams. Terrell Suggs. This Ravens team is good. No wonder they finished with 10 wins. I can see why. Is it possible to get Terrell Suggs? Wow. It is possible to get Terrell Suggs. And for not really anything. If I throw William Hayes in here, that's going to go through. Terrell Suggs, 30 years old. He just won Defensive Player of the Year. Can I throw Cam Chancellor in there? Alright, that takes it down a lot. This is going to go through. So I might be able to sneak a fourth rounder. I did. We just got Terrell Suggs, man. For Brandon Browner and William Hayes. Yes, he's 30 years old. But it's Terrell F and Suggs, man. It is Terrell Suggs. On the team. That's crazy. Now we've got a right outside linebacker. We don't really need Wembley anymore. Wait, hold on. Let me check and see what 
What is Wembley's contract? Or not Wembley's contract. What is Terrell Suggs' contract? He's got three years of control. So... He's 30... Right now, with control for a while. Wembley has got the same amount... And he is more expensive. Interesting. I think I'll wait on that. I can't believe we just brought in Terrell Suggs. That's crazy. All right, all right. Let's go look at this now. Um, let's just not franchise tag any of these guys. Not franchise tag our punter. Uh, I don't want to really let these guys walk, but... I think we might have to, right? If I pay Jamarcus, we lose all that. We we use all that money. Do we trade Jamarcus Russell and do we just go with with RG three as our quarterback? He's a seventy one overall. I think our team is good enough. I think our team is good enough to sustain um having a lower end quarterback look at that linebacking core though. that's disgusting <laughs> that's actually crazy uh let's see what do i want to do here oh i don't know what i want to do do we trade jamarcus I don't want to pay him that money. I, I can't pay Jamarcus Russell. It just I don't know what it is. I know he's won two Super Bowls for me and he just he's coming off of a Super Bowl MVP, but in my head I just can't functionally make it make sense that I'm paying Jamarcus Russell almost fifty million dollars. I can't it just won't make sense in my brain. So I know that's not what it's I'm not supposed to think that way because this is a whole different like fantasy world, but I can't it can't get it out of my mind that I'm I would be paying Jamarcus Russell that much money. So I can't do it. I'm sorry, Braylon. I can't pay you either because I have... I want to see what my options are in free agency. I want to see what we have in free agency. Peyton Manning made it to free agency with no offers. Jamarcus has got six bids on him. Good job for you, Jamarcus. We just made you a lot of money. <laughs> we just made you a ton of money. I want to put a bid on Peyton Manning. I want to put a bid on Peyton Manning. I don't want to pay him too much, but I'll pay you $24 million over two years to be a backup. Actually, he might be our starter. <laughs> um, running back, we need a backup running back, so who do we go for that? Darren Sproles is here, but I don't really want Darren Sproles. Um, James Starks. Let's pay James Starks. He's 27. He's got star development, so can't hurt and hurt to have him and then willis mcgahee we may need willis mcgahee and i'll only offer him a really cheap deal because i don't really need him because we could obviously draft somebody i'm looking to draft eddie lacy so that's the thing braylon edwards is entering free agency with 11 bids so good for him man good for him you go get that money braylon you go get that money. You deserve it. Nate Burleson. I'm thinking we bring in Nate Burleson. He's the best one that I'm seeing here. Uh, I don't I don't really want to put any bids on those guys. Robert Meacham is 28, but he doesn't have very good value. Uh, let's put a bid on Nate Burleson. Get some new faces in here. I only offer him a one-year deal. We don't need him that bad because we're going to draft DeAndre Hopkins. So let's put a two and a half million dollar bid on Nate Burleson. See what he says about that. Tight ends. We've been struggling with tight ends for a while. Zach Miller got hurt. I don't think I mentioned that to you guys. Zach Miller broke his th or broke his leg or something, or he did something, and he's out for the season. So, or he was out for the season. So we've been running with bad tight ends. So let's offer Dennis Pitta a contract. Hopefully he accepts that. Left tackle. I think we're fine with backup Andre Smith. Alejandro Villanueva made it to free agency, which is weird. All right. Uh, left guard. 
Zeitler and Kilgore I'm fine with. Center, we need a backup center. Who are we thinking here? Do we think this old man? Yeah, let's go with this old man. Sean May Mahon or Mahon? Sean Mahon? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry, but you only be here for a year, so you won't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Uh, right guard. Right guard, we're looking at probably... Uh, I don't know. Probably maybe like uh, Jake Scott because he's cheaper. Let's get Jake Scott in here. We'll offer him about $2 million to be a backup. And right tackle. Sebastian Vollmer made it to free agency. That's cool. I like me some Sebastian Vollmer. Uh, Adrian Jones... Obviously, these guys are only going to be here for a year. They may not even be here for a year because we may end up trading them for other assets. So that's why I only offer them small little contracts. Now, left end, we don't need. No, we don't need. We do. I could do with another defensive tackle, but I'm not seeing anybody here that I actually would pay money for. Uh, right end. Justin Smith has got four offers. Cliff Averill has got some decent offers on him. But we're good at, at edge rush. Uh, moving to outside linebacker. We're fine at outside linebacker. We've got nobody here that I want. Jermaine Cunningham I'm, I would probably put a bit on if we needed somebody. Middle linebacker. Is there anybody here at middle linebacker that could fill in as just a backup. I mean, Bobby Carpenter would be good, but he's got a bid, and I don't want to outbid anybody. I'm not trying to pay that much. Oh, we could bring in uh, Brian Erlacher. We brought in Ray Lewis that year, so why not bring in good old Brian? Why not bring in good old Brian Erlacher for a cool million dollars? You're 69 overall. You're 35. You should probably just retire, but we'll bring you in anyway. Um... Right outside linebacker, DJ Williams. 86 overall. Okay. Some big name guys making free agency. Uh, as for corner, we are very solid on corner, so we don't even need to worry about this. Unless there's somebody here that probably shouldn't be here that I could snatch up. No, it doesn't look like it. Free safety, we're good at. I guess I could use a backup better than Ron Parker. Is there anybody here that's better than Ron Parker that I would take? Not looking like it. Strong safety, Patrick Chung's got no bids at 26, which is weird. I could bring in Patrick Chung or Mike Mitchell and then uh, move Rashad Jones to free safety or move Patrick Chung to free safety, either one. I'll see what Chung's thinking here. I'll, I'll put a bid in on him. We'll test the waters with Chung. Kicker, we're good on kicker. Punter, we need a punter. Uh, Thomas Morstead's only 24 or 27 with four years experience. Look at that hair. Look at that hair on, the, on him. That's amazing. That's good stuff right there. We'll offer him a four-year deal because I don't plan on paying a punter for a while. So we'll bid that. He'll accept that for sure. Uh, so we got Peyton Manning, Willis McGahee, James Stark, Sean Mahan, Jake Scott, Adrian Jones, Thomas Morstead, Patrick Chung, Nate Burleson, Dennis Pitta, and Brian Erlacher as our bids with $20 million of extra money. I'm assuming that some of these guys are not going to accept right away, so we'll have to go in and bid for some other people. But I think we'll get I think we'll get Peyton Manning. I think we'll get James Starks. I think we'll get these linemen. I think we'll get Thomas Morstead. We'll probably get Den Nate Burleson. Maybe not get Dennis Pitta. We'll probably get Brian Erlacher. So the, the, it'll be some give and some take. But let's go find out who we do get. It'd be weird if we get Peyton Manning. That's for sure. All right. So we got the backup center, Sean Mahan. We got Patrick Chung, who accepted. And we got Thomas Morrison. So our punter situation is solid. We have $20.3 million. Peyton Manning has not decided what to do yet. Uh, James Stark's not going to come here. Okay, fine. Everybody else is looking. Dennis Pitt is not going to accept. Everybody else has got bids that we're good on. I'm going to lower this contract on Peyton Manning just because we're running low on money. I know it's probably going to hurt my chances of getting him. 
but let's just try and save a little bit of money there. We'll offer him 14 million, so I took 10 million off of the offer. All right, let's simulate again and see if we get Peyton Manning this time. All right, so I simulated. Nobody accepted their contracts. Peyton Manning's got a bid from the Panthers, so he's not going to be coming to us. That, that would have been cool to have him, but it looks like it's not going to be... It's not going to be the case. He's going to go to Carolina. Uh, who else is here that would be cool to have? Chad Henney thing is possible? Maybe we get Chad Henney or Jason Campbell. I'm thinking Chad Henney or Jason Campbell. Chad Henney. Let's get Chad Henney thing as possible. We'll offer him a one-year deal. A cool million dollars. 1.75. Accept that Chad Henney thing as possible. And now we simulate to see if those guys finally accept. I really hope they do. All right, Willis McGahee accepts his contract. Brian Erlacher accepts the million dollars we gave him. Um, Adrian Jones accepts. Jake Scott accepts. Nate Burleson accepts. Perfect. That's everybody, I think. That is everybody that we needed to sign. So we got everybody that we wanted. Peyton Manning would have been cool, but it was really never going to happen. All right, free agency recap. We got these guys that you saw already. We still have Chad Henney as a uh, he hasn't made up his decision or made up his mind yet. So if he doesn't come to us, then we'll just have to go and find somebody else in free agency in the preseason. But recapping around the league, DJ Williams heads to Minnesota. Chris Jenkins to L.A. Rashawn Mathis to the Dallas Cowboys. Braylon Edwards ends up in L.A. Peyton Manning in Carolina. Luis Vasquez in Buffalo. Sebastian Vollmer in Minnesota as well. The Rams out here spending a ton of money here. Khalif Barnes to the Rams. Justin Smith to the Bears. Uh, Jamarcus Russell goes to L.A. So we lose Braylon Edwards and Jamarcus Russell. Maybe they were like a package deal or something. But the Rams are spending so much money out here. They paid over $100 million probably for both of these guys. That's crazy. Plus they brought in Chris Jenkins. They brought in Khalif Barnes. They brought in... Who else did they bring in down here? Anybody else? Nobody else of note. That's crazy that Braylon Edwards and Jamarcus Russell didn't want to be on different teams, so they'd sign with both of the Rams. Joseph Adai goes to uh, Miami. Sean Green to the Patriots. Adam Vinatieri to the Niners. Um, who else is down here? David Girard to the Vikings. Devin Hester Raiders. Robert Meacham Bills. Ryan Fitzpatrick is the Chiefs now. Um, Bobby Carpenter on the Steelers. Alondra Villanueva on the Bills, Averill on the Rams. The Rams are going to be a threat. I'm a little bit scared of the Rams right now. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit terrified of the Rams. They got my former quarterback and my former wide receiver. But now it's time for the NFL draft. We start drafting here. We had pick seven. So let's go take a look at who's been taken already. So Eric Fisher goes. Who else went? Anybody big? DeAndre Hopkins is still here. All the tight ends are still here. All the good left tackles are still here. Center. Who went even? I don't even... I wish they would show me who went so I could figure out what my plan of attack is. But like I said, we aren't going to worry about projections. So these guys are all projected second round. That's fine. We're going to take them whenever I want to take them. So first up is DeAndre Hopkins. Let's take DeAndre. <laughs> We need another wide receiver. He is 75 with Hidden. We knew that already, though, because we've played this draft class before. Uh, all right, so next up, who am I thinking? Am I thinking Le'Veon Bell or Eddie Lacy? Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. Am I thinking Le'Veon Bell, Eddie Lacy? I don't know. We can get a wide receiver later. I'm thinking we get Travis Kelsey now, and then maybe we go and get, like, a Teron Armstead. Maybe Travis Frederick. Uh, we don't need a linebacker, especially now that we got... Um, What's-his-face? We got crazy linebackers now. Corner we could wait on. We don't need a free safety. I need defensive edge rushing, it looks like. But there's not really anybody here that I want to take, especially with a first or a first round pick. I could do with a right guard, and Kyle Long seems to be a pretty decent right guard. Let's take Kyle Long. 
He's a 73 with hidden. He's probably going to be our starting right guard, too. So now we move to pick 32. Who's here? Le'Veon Bell's still here. Eddie Lacy's still here. Keenan Allen's still here. Travis Kelsey is here, so we'll take Travis Kelsey with this pick. Got to make sure that I have Travis Kelsey. Pick 7 in the second round. What are we thinking about this one? Probably Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, probably Le'Veon Bell. Larry Warford's still here. Who else is still here? Hankins, Ogletree, Tyron Matthew we'll probably have to take at some point. Maybe uh maybe DJ Swearinger. Let's take Le'Veon. So that he can compete with uh what's his face? Darren McFadden. Alright, now who's up next? Probably Keenan Allen, right? And then we go with the pick and take one of these left tackles. That seems like a good idea. Let's take Keenan Allen. 69 with hidden. So we can make that work. Alright. Let's go. I know I'm moving pretty fast with this, but I had a plan in my head of who I wanted to take. So, especially with all these picks that I had. So, Armstead's gone, which is understandable. So, we got JC Treader, who we can move to guard because we don't need a left tackle, I don't think. We got David Bakhtiari as well. Um, Teron Matthew ends up leaving. Disappointing, but I mean, we didn't really need a corner. And I, could, I might be able to trade for him. I don't know. It'd probably be pretty hard to trade for him. But we got guys like Jordan Poyer down here and Micah Hyde. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. As for what I want to do here, I think we take J.C. Treader and move him to guard. I think that might be the move because there's nobody else really in the top that I, I want I'm not seeing anybody else. Yeah, let's take J.C. Treader, and we'll move him to guard. 68 normal. Third round pick. Uh, what am I thinking here? What, what am I thinking here? Is uh, Bakhtiari still here? Bakhtiari is still here. And the corners are all still here. All right. Making me work for it. So let's take Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari, we get him. Perfect. Now we've got third round pick, pick 18. And now I think we just either... I'm going to go through here, look and see if there's anybody down here of value. Adam Thielen's down there. Uh, go through this, looking through. The only other guy that I'm thinking about is probably Logan Ryan at this point. But corner situation, we are very solid at. So it's not like we need a corner. I think what we do is we trade this pick. Because I'm happy with the corners that we have. So it's not like the end of the world if we don't get a corner. And what are we looking at here? I don't want picks this year. I want picks next year. And this might be the offer. The Vikings might be the offer. Because they're offering me a third and a fourth from next year. And that looks like the best thing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give the Vikings this pick. They have back-to-back -back picks now. So, advance the next pick. They get Matt Barkley and they get Terrence Williams. So, that's cool. So, now it's advanced to our user pick. Fourth round pick 18. All the good quarterbacks are gone. That's fine. We didn't, there was no good quarterbacks, so that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, wide receiver Kenny Stills is still there. Stills is still there. <laughs> um, John Simon goes. Gerald Hodges Jr. is still there. Corner, all the good corners are gone now. Except for Jordan Poyer and A.J. Bouye. Let's trade this pick as well. We're probably going to be trading a lot of these picks now. Can I get a third rounder? Will somebody offer me a third rounder? No, nobody wants to offer me third round picks. 
Come on, boys, offer me third rounders. Nobody's offering me even a fourth rounder next year, except for the Saints. But I want more than just one fourth rounder. Give me some picks. Wow, these trades are garbage. The Saints are offering me a, the best trade, so let's do that. We'll skip to next user pick, and we'll trade this pick away. Anybody offering me good picks next year? Nobody. Everybody wants picks this year, so I guess we'll do... We'll just move back to the Rams, I guess. Maybe we'll get some good offers from that. So we'll skip to this pick. We'll trade this one away. Are we going to get some good offers this year? No, we're just going to have to keep moving back, I guess. So let's trade with the Lions in the fifth round. We'll skip to next user pick. We'll get that pick. Trade it away. Finally, some 2025 picks. So let's go with the Falcons this time. We're going to have so many draft picks. It's crazy. <laughs> it's actually crazy how many draft picks we got. Uh, the Niners... Ooh, the Eagles are giving me a seventh along with it, so we'll take that one. Get as much value as possible. Sixth round now. Um, now we're just getting 2025 fifth rounders, all right? Yeah, let's go with the Bills to get that. Keep trading. <laughs> so many picks. So many effing picks, bro. Let's go with the Jaguars, because we haven't traded them. So we get another fifth round pick from them. Let's keep on moving. Trade away this pick. Uh, we can get can we get a fifth rounder? No, we cannot. But the Raiders are offering me a pick six round. So we'll take that. And then we'll skip to our final pick, I think. Yeah, Mr. Irrelevant. But we will not trade it, or we will not draft it, because the Falcons are offering me a sixth round pick. So that's how you do that. That is how you do that. And Mr. Relevant was Brandon Copeland. So we've got draft picks. <laughs> we've got draft picks. Zach Miller is back from his injury. Beautiful. I think he broke his femur or something. I can't remember exactly. But let's take a look at the recap. We drafted DeAndre Hopkins, Kyle Long, Travis Kelsey, Le'Veon Bell, Keenan Allen, J.C. Treader, and David Bakhtiari. I'm probably going to move J.C. Treader to guard because... I'm fine with the the left tackle guard, uh, we have in Andre Smith as a backup. But this was a good draft. We got all the the players that I wanted except for um, Tyron Matthew. I would have I would have liked to have him, but that's fine. We didn't we didn't really need him because we got a solid corner spot uh, with with our roster right now. So let's go to um, yes, yeah, strong safety. We'll move. We'll move somebody to, sh to free safety, right? Yeah, let's move... Let's move Rashad Jones to free safety. That shouldn't move him down that much. I wouldn't think. That way he might get a little bit more playing time over on the other side. He's a 77. Ron Parker, probably going to have to let you go, my man. Corner, yeah, this is why we didn't really need Tyron Matthew, because we got McCordy, we got Eric Wright, we got Richard Sherman, Stephon Gilmore, Chris Harris, Jason McCordy, and Glover Quinn. So we're, we're solid at, at corner. That doesn't mean that I won't try and trade for him, because we've got Cameron Wimbley, who I could use as a trade piece. Um, right outside linebacker's solid, middle linebacker's good, left outside linebacker's good. Uh, let's just cut you, because we know you're not making the roster, so we don't even want to drag you into the preseason. Uh, defensive tackle's fine. End is fine. I'll cut you as well. Get you out of here. Uh, right end's good. Left end is not as good, but we can. I can move one of these guys over to left end. Maybe Chris Long back over to left end. Chandler Jones. Because now with Terrell Suggs, we don't really need the. We don't need to put him over there. I guess. Because I was gonna move Chandler Jones to outside linebacker like he is in real life. I guess I can move him to left end and then have him back up Jordan. That wouldn't be that bad. Let's move him to left end. See what happens here. He's a 76. Is he stay 76? Yeah, he does. Okay, perfect. Then we can get rid of you because nobody's going to want you and you're garbage. So, sorry, Dante Page Moss. You're gone. Right tackle, David Bakhtiari will probably be in the practice squad. But now some of these old guys that I signed are expendable now, which is good. 
Very, very good. Tight end we're looking good on, especially with Travis Kelsey now. Wide receiver is solid. I'm liking what we have at wide receiver. We have how many options? One, two, three, four, five guys at wide receiver that I'd, I'd be willing to throw to. Running back is good. Quarterback, not so much. We're going to have to start with RG3. I'll start him over Colin Kaepernick because he's got superstar value. Uh, we'll have to go into free agency and, and look and see if there is a quarterback worth getting. But that is going to do it for this offseason video. Make sure you smash that like button, the notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!